In our last episode, we discovered an abandoned hotel and had dinner at Ostrea Fravia, which is a cute little restaurant on the outskirts of Ducentis. After dinner, we had time to chat to the lovely lady who owns the place, and she told us about this abandoned hotel in the nearby Val Sandwich. So today's goal is to find that hotel and check it out. I cannot believe it, but we found it. An abandoned old hotel in the middle of nowhere. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Abandoned. Today, we stopped at another abandoned hotel. This is really spooky, but also really, really nice. This is a ancient mountain hotel here in the Swiss Alps. It was closed several years ago, and nothing has ever done, been done to it since. And there's actually some signs indicating that if you do trespass here, you will definitely be prosecuted. So. We're going to keep our distance, look at it from the outside, and probably won't attempt to actually get inside. But it is really, really amazing. It's an amazing property. And if somebody would ever do something to this again and make it nice again or remodel it or modernize it, this would be an awesome hotel. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look at these views. out about this place. Right, I found out some more really really interesting facts about this hotel. Well for one thing it didn't start out as a hotel. It started out as a simple spa. So the spa was there first and then the first time that this place is mentioned was actually in the year 1580. So this place is over 500 years old now. But the, the crazy thing is then in 1908 is when they, when they changed owners the new owners added the hotel complex which is this building right over here with the south facing balconies, which are made of a wood structure. And then shortly after that, after it opened, the first world war came and everything went downhill from there. So during World War I, all the guests had to leave and the place was just suddenly deserted and then was home to actually military for a long time. And they had like a training center here and had lessons here. And after World War I, it faced some more uncertain times and it was just basically just barely hanging on by a thread with an occupancy somewhere around 30 to 40 percent. Over the years they added more and more buildings to it to add more space to actually cater to families that were coming to visit the region rather than just people coming for the spa. And now since a couple years ago it's been sitting empty because the last owner was actually uh, a very wealthy person who lived in Frankfurt, which happens to be my hometown where I grew up. Um, but he died a couple of years ago, and ever since then, they've been trying to sell this property and find a new owner for it. But this place is so off the beaten path that it's really, really hard to get guests to come out here. And the entire cost that it would really take to get this place up and running again, I think it's gonna be pretty high, so I'm assuming it's gonna stay empty for a little while longer. So sad. But yeah, that's the history of this place. It's got a lot of history. You're fascinated. I'm, I'm loving it. Mm. Yeah, and especially if you consider where we are. We just followed a narrow street up the mountain. This is really the middle of nowhere. And now we get another tip from a lady. We just stopped at the street and asked someone about this abandoned place. And she said, a little bit more further down, there's a river. So we're gonna follow the stream 
go down to the river and see if we can probably catch another incredible view. And there's also down there, there's a man-made dam, which was, which was created for this hotel right here because they needed electricity. So back in 1905, or 1905 to 1908 is when they actually installed this dam to create electricity. And they pulled the cables all the way from down there to the dam, all the way up here. And that's actually the first time that they had running water as well. They had electricity, they had running water for the first time in 1908. Wow. There it sits. And you can see from here how one balcony came off. Yeah, it's already collapsed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's insane. It's so... So majestic. Majestic is the right word. Come on. I wish we could go in. There's the event of the room. what the view was from the hotel. She said they have rooms here, right? Yes. So Yeah, we stopped in the middle of no nowhere the lady who gave us the tip with the abandoned hotel. Krass. Krass. Wie ist das also ist das auch vor allem, ich habe ein Freund durch das We've now left the abandoned hotel, made our way back to this restaurant, uh, bed and breakfast, I don't know what it is. We'll have lunch here now, just spontaneous. And the lady who owns this property, she's from Germany, which is kind of funny. And she just told us that her husband has a key to the abandoned hotel. So we might go back and see it from the inside, which is Amazing. And there's another portion of my for Brian. Looks, looks lovely. It looks amazing. And I have another portion of Pitaco. Ah. Unfortunately, going back to the abandoned hotel didn't work out because the guy who runs the restaurant and the little bed and breakfast place was busy and had better stuff to do than showing us the hotel. So we came to this little farm. Where is this car? With uh, fresh local produce where you can just you can just walk inside and help yourself. And now we have two different jams, fresh butter, and uh, a piece of local cheese. And with that, our trip here ends and we go back home to Zurich, back to our cat son and back to real life. See you next time, wherever we will travel. <laughs> <laughs>